She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Idrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Giedrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Giedrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could ship away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. And here's Eivor. Ah, you time things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Alvanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me, your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Eatman into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I have already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from nave to crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Eivor, there was a time when you would follow me without question, because we trusted one another, because you knew I would never lead you into folly, never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did, as your brother, your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. You're trusting me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. Who 
dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your guard so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key, and depart with your strange friend. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm, a humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies? Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by his robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous. Her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Where you go, I... Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth, one of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory, about defeating Edwin. Do you know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory? It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? 
Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all? Praise thee. Oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god led me here, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eivor. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. This is the place up ahead. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom he possess. Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You! Always questioning, second-guessing my wishes! You slowed us down, and I missed my chance! Patience, brother. We'll find this stone wherever it is. Right or wrong. You will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade. That stone, for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gatred a word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Gatred's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not... Avon! <laughs> no! Cut them down! <laughs> Leave that alive! Avon, you mock-minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood.
I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. Ah! <clears throat> Stay out of this! Enough! If it wasn't clear why Sigurd is in command, it is now. Your temper runs too hot, Wolfkist. You want to settle things with Basim, you call a home gang. Else you follow me. You listen to me, you do as I ask. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Giedrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. You move with the wrath of Odin. But you do not have his wisdom. That will lead you astray, Eivor. Come, friend. We have a battle to prepare for. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind. And he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Gidrit asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eaton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother. You are lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulgain. 